Fox News wouldn't touch this story with a 10-foot pole until the Washington Post made it a national issue. Now they sit around acting like they care about our soldiers. This is the headline from last Sunday's Washington Post. The article beneath it tells of a major investigation into the care of wounded soldiers at Walter Reed Army Medical Center after they have returned to the United States from Iraq. Now this week, the White House and the Pentagon responded to the Post's investigation like this. Uh, the Secretary of the Army, Dr. Francis Harvey, and myself visited one outpatient care uh, building mentioned in those reports yesterday, uh, Building 18. And we were absolutely disappointed in the status of the rooms and found the delays and lack of attention to detail to the building's repairs inexcusable. I am disappointed that I had to learn about the conditions of that building through media reports. Well, we're disappointed that you had to learn through media reports. <laughs> Jane, the first of the media reports I heard about this was on the Imus in the Morning program. In September of 2005, he paid a visit to uh, Walter Reed Army Medical Center, was appalled, and you know what happens when he gets appalled. Mm -hmm. He goes on and on, and he discussed this story endlessly a year and a half ago, and no one in the media picked it up. It's been picked up now, a year and a half later. I would think the media would have wanted to seize on a story as important as this as soon as they could. Well, you know, I think it shows the power and the virtue when they use it of the mainstream, major mainstream newspapers. I thought, I'm proud to be a journalist when I read the story. It is so well written. Are you a little ashamed to be a journalist well, when it I'm took this Well, I'm more ashamed to be the Secretary of the Army and the President of the United States, I would think, than I am to be a journalist who, who at least has uncovered this. They went there to Walter Reed and shook people's hands. Imus went there a year and a half ago. I and uncovered. Let, let, let's give, and let's give Don Imus a lot of credit for that. And, and, and then let's just note as a matter of observation that when the Washington Post does it and puts it on the front page, it has more credibility than some guy who coined the phrase shock jock uh, 20 years ago. So then the why media. does, wait a minute, then why does the Washington Post wait all that time well, to pick it, up the it's story? It's hard because they had to do investigate and study. And so, I mean, I mean look, I, I, Imus gets credit for being on top of the story, and the Washington Post also gets credit for really drilling it home and forcing it onto the national agenda, as they've done. And it, this should have been the first segment, not the second segment. Let's say a little more about the Washington Post. Wait a minute, Post. did you just criticize the way this show's been put together, which I had well, something to do with? I, I mean, I, I, it's just a lesson. People are more morbidly, grossly fascinated by Anna yeah. Smith than this story about our heroes. The which Post. is, let us all concede, of what we are talking about here in segment two, is a much more important story than we discussed well, in segment one. But obviously. let me say this about the Washington Post. Washington Post. The Post has had several articles, front page and in its metro local section, about all of the good work happening at Walter Reed Hospital, about the volunteers, various holiday parties held there. They have had reporters in Walter Reed over and over again. My question is, why didn't they find this out earlier, especially after what uh, Imus had done? But also, why didn't a single uh, veteran or, or wounded soldier speak up about this they, and say to a report? They said that they, they had did. tried. To the Washington they Post. They said that they had tried. They, they tried again and again. If you saw them interviewed, there were two of them on the news hour on Thursday night. They talked about how they had protested with no to no avail. Now, I'm going to answer Post? your original question with, with obviously sheer speculation. Why didn't the media pick up on this story? And I'll tell you why, I, I believe. It's one thing to criticize administration policy. It's another thing to go right at the administration and say, support our troops, support our troops, support our troops, is a slogan and a lie. The, the media were afraid, they were gun shy. And, and this is only one part of a much larger story in the way in which this administration does not support our troops. Humvee armor. Extended tours of duty. You're making Lies. a point here I'm making a about point. the administration. No, 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 no. I'm not making a point you about the administration. You just said the administration does this, does that. I'm making a point that. about the media. The media is afraid well, of I'm taking afraid. on the administration I, I, on this very, I, I, very I, I, sensitive I, 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 issue. But wait a minute. Tell how you treat the okay, truth. But wait a minute. They did yes. it now. I don't, I don't how did they get rid of their fear so suddenly? I think so the issue is this. I think, I'm not sure it's much of the media are afraid. Is that the media typically come at the Bush administration from the left. They say the Iraq war is a terrible idea. The idea of going after the administration from the right, as it were, that we're not supporting troops enough, not body armor enough, not Humvees enough, uh, not helping at Walter Reed enough. Th that is an angle that most reporters don't naturally think of when they're waking because up in the morning. Because it's dangerous. No, no, because, 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 they, they, more they, because they don't think, come, they, they come from a different I ideological perspective. Right. I don't think they come from an ideological perspective. I mean, Dana Priest was, was 
uh, severely criticized for winning the Pulitzer for the secret prison story. And I agree with, with Jim, it's somewhat counterintuitive. I think they should get praise for doing it now and spending four months doing it. There's also an inside media bias. Imus can say something over and over again, and the mainstream media don't pick up on it until one of their own reports it. Well, finally, and fortunately, they've picked up on it now. It's time for another break. We'll be back with our quick takes on the media.